All right, so we have um, clicked on the tab. Let's move up just a tad so we can see that. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Um, we've clicked on the tab uh, so in the web soil survey uh, soil map after we've defined it our area of interest. So we are now on to this second step in our uh, uh, as part of our third video in looking at the web soil survey and you see all these orange lines and all these orange lines de uh, delineate different soil types um, that are in this area and so if you're not familiar with this area um, this is a valley bottom there's a river over here this is the Gila River and the Gila River uh, drains the this valley this is the Gila Valley in eastern Arizona and it's draining these but this low land where you see all these uh, farm fields most of these are cotton fields and um, so water comes out of the mountains and drains out of the mountains and deposits much of its soil in this valley bottom and so much of this soil is going to be um, kind of a clay loam a silty loam uh, in in that range so how do we know that we're right well we can look over here on the left and you can see that we've got these map unit symbols over here uh, for this entire area and you can match these up with the map unit symbols on the map themselves so right here in the middle I've got a GR if I come over here and look at what GR is it's a grave clay loam and we know what that is okay um and so it also so what does it give you uh, if you scroll back up to the top you'll see acre uh, acres in aoa and percent of aoa which is again air, your area of interest let me go down back down to the ga where'd it go oh sorry gr there it is so almost 50% of this map is, is this GR um, and uh, almost 1,200 acres of the area of interest is this GR. Okay. Now, is this 100% accurate? Um, I, having checked the soils in these areas, I would say that it is not 100% accurate. It's, it's just um, a very good educated guess. And so... Um, based on this information, you can make some pretty good soil decisions that are out there. Okay, so let's say we want to know what grape clay loam actually is. We can click on that. And it'll give you a little bit of summary of, int of information, the uh, elevation, basically the, the mean annual precipitation, annual uh, mean uh, temperatures in the area, how many frost-free days approximately you're going to get. Um, and so then you can also look down here, slopes. Of course, this is a valley bottom, so it's going to be fairly flat. Uh, and then it'll tell you how deep the soil is, more than 80 inches, very deep soils, which is nice for agriculture. Um, other characteristics of the soil all the way down so that's helpful information you can even print that out if you want what we're going to do is add this to our shopping cart because we're going to need it later we're going to click add to our shopping cart and i'm going to just say thatcher arizona okay and then i'm going to click okay all right, and so that just added that to our shopping cart. Um, I'm also going to save a print version of this. This is um, because we're going to need it in our report. So I'm going to click printable version up here. And again, I'm going to put Thatcher, Arizona on there. I, I, I like this, so I'm going to go ahead and click view. takes a minute it's going to go to a new tab and there you go uh, it's got a nice key to the information that's on the map and then it lists out all the soils in the area of interest that we have here all right 
So this is the end of our soil map information. Um, please continue on to the next video where we talk about Soil Data Explorer.